Home was no longer where the heart was, and I was alone that spring. I was mourning the death of a long relationship and being deprived of my children. Yet spring, I told myself, signifies renewal, a new cycle of life beginning. I was in earnest, but not convinced. Like my life, my path to work had also changed. A new journey from a cold, anonymous, empty place and along a new path, a towpath. I cycled that same two miles of the Worcester Birmingham Canal each morning, sweeping silently along under sweet birdsong, light breezes and occasionally light slanting rain. The mirror flat surface perfectly was filled with cloud and patches of blue, broken only by a new family of ducks, tiny cotton soft ducklings in tow, red legged moor hens and a little further along, a pair of elegant linen white swans keeping watch over a pair of downy brown signals. The ripples reached out as I passed. As the days and weeks passed, I found myself rising with a curiosity, spurred on by the emergent bright yellow flowers of the lesser celandine that had begun to light my way, nestled among the sullen green grasses and, of course, the growing families with whom I was fast becoming familiar. It then occurred to me, one fine sunny morning, a spring's new scents filled my nostrils that those ripples had touched me. I had become as much a part of that tranquil place as the ducks, swans and moor hens that graced it, and wondered if they'd noticed any change in the lone cyclist who greeted them each time he passed. Natural remedies take many forms, and thanks to the labours of the navvies, they spread through the lifeblood of our land.